In this tutorial we will cover importing vector graphics for laser marking. Now vector graphics are ideal for laser marking and I will show you that in just a few moments when we import it. I'll show you exactly why uh, they are important. So to import uh, graphics we're just going to come over here to the new page with the plus, the symbol here. This is for importing our graphics. We're going to click on that and you can see I've already pre-selected the folder. So you're just going to navigate to the folder or location where you have the vector graphics stored. Now vector graphics can be a multitude of formats um, and the MiniLace Pro SE software can read many of those formats. So just to go through a few of the most popular uh, formats that we see, Adobe Illustrator, AI, HPGL plot files, .plt, which can be made with CorelDRAW, and additionally, DXF, which is made in AutoCAD, is also available out of CorelDRAW. We can also use scalable vector graphics, SVG files, and there's some others as well. So for now, we're going to import a PLT. So I'm going to go ahead and click that. I want to show you a couple important things here. We can show a preview of that vector graphic. So once we click the preview and choose the graphic, we can now see which graphic uh, we are going to load. And we can also put it to center. Okay. Now, by putting it to center, it's going to show up in the middle of the screen when we import it. I'm going to go ahead and click Open. And now you can see my graphic is imported. However, the size is quite large. Now, this was exported as a large format uh, in the program it was originally created in, which was Corel Draw, and that's why it's showing as the true size. So what we're going to do uh, is go ahead and shrink this down, and I'm just going to come over here to my sizing and just going to make this in the X direction I'm going to make it 50 millimeters wide okay and now you can see we've shrunk it down and does fit inside of my work area let's discuss why vector graphics are ideal for laser marking the reason is because vector graphics utilize start and end points and in between those start and end points we have lines those lines represent basically one width of the laser beam as it draws that line. Now this is important because this gives us true boundaries and a true sharp edge to the character when we're laser marking. When you look at a uh, image file or raster based file such as a JPEG or a bitmap you get pixels and when you have pixels the laser tries to reinterpret those pixels in a grayscale format and therefore your edges can be fuzzy and also it takes quite a uh, significant time to mark so by using a vector graphic you're getting all the advantages you get um, uh, when you're marking a regular font inside the system which is true edge lines and you have the ability to control the fill which is the coloring in so to speak of the graphic itself and that is covered in a later tutorial. We can do several things with this vector graphic once it's imported. We can resize it as you can see here and you saw I did over here earlier and we can do rotation of that graphic so we can change the angle okay and we can do some other things as well we can do some advanced graphic manipulation which is one of the very powerful uh, tools that MiniLace Pro offers is a CAD like tool so you can actually manipulate what's called the nodes which are these points here where the graphic uh, changes direction or a new line is formed and so to do that I'm just going to select my graphic I'm going to come over here and I'm going to ungroup and then I'm going to come to my node manipulation tool here and now just as a starting example I'm going to select this Y. Now you can see the actual nodes and those nodes can now be manipulated and you can see I can click on that node and drag it around. Now this node is closed and the reason that it's closed is because we want to be able to fill this graphic and so the graphic has to be complete meaning all these nodes have to be joined together so that it's one solid outline however if you wish to break the nodes apart there are several node manipulation tools up here now I won't cover all of these because some of them are covered in the manual and uh, 
the most common you're going to use is just to break nodes apart so I'll do that I'm going to click to break nodes apart and now you'll be able to see that I broke these nodes apart and my graphic is now open if I wanted to join those two together I simply drag around and select both of them and I can choose to unite them now it is closed again and you can see that I only have one node there if I double click I can get rid of the node as well simply by double clicking as you see and completely delete parts of the graphics resize or change them so if you need to do any graphical touch-ups or anything this AutoCAD like feature is very very helpful once I'm done with that and I want to add everything back together so I don't have multiple objects in my object list as you see over here I can simply just combine everything back together and it comes back into one and now you can see all my nodes that make this up again as well that's a short overview on vector graphics. Mm -hmm.